Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and we are talking about Jira Administrator Tutorials. As a part of this tutorial, we are trying to explore a little more about the customization and today we'll be talking about how to create your custom screen for any issue type. Now custom screen is something which is the options what you see, the fields what you see when you create a new issue type. Now if you want you can further customize that because maybe one of the projects may have a request to you stating that that I want only these options to be listed in order to create a particular issue or maybe you know when I edit this particular issue or when I view the details of this particular issue. So yes we can customize the screen which is visible to a user uh, particular to a particular issue type and uh, you can determine it to the many other issue types as well it's just that specific that what you want it for you can associate that new screen to a particular issue type as well so let's understand in this tutorial in little more detail that how we can customize or create a new screen and associate that with a particular issue type In this tutorial, we will be continuing ahead with the Jira customization options and talking about how to create a issue type screen and associate that to a project. In order to understand about the screen options, we need to understand that what exactly a screen is. When you talk about creating a new issue type, the fields which are displayed to you is, is inside a particular screen. Now all these fields are called put together as a screen which is visible to a user while creating a new issue type. Of course we have three types of screens in Jira. Number one is create issues, number two is view screen and third is edit screen which is by default enabled here when you click on this or hover your mouse on any of these features which are editable. So there are three options or you just click on this edit button here. This is the screen number three. Now there are three types of screen as I just told you that one is to create issue, second is view issue and third is edit issue. So you can have single screen for all the three options or if you want you can have different screens for all the three options. It all depends on the project specifications and their specific request that if they want all the fields to be visible on the front that is while creating itself or maybe they just want to add up this issue by just adding few of the details and they can later edit it by adding more details. So they will have specific request from to you that what they want to be displayed when they create it, when they view it and when they edit a particular issue type. And that's what we are looking into in today's tutorial. So let's assume that the team has requested us to create a new screen for the new issue type that is customer request. And for example, if I go back to create button and if I see I create a task, I get all the details what I have here. And if I also go to the customer request, I do get all the details here. The same thing. Now what if they say that I want a different screen for creating uh, the customer request. So to do that all you need to navigate is to of course the administration and in the administration move to the third segment called as screens. Click on screens option here and then it allows you to add a new screen. Also it will display you all the screens which are already available in your Jira server instance which can be associated to different projects at any point of time. So just click on add screen and give it a name for example customer request screen. Now please make it so user friendly that you remember which screen is for which specific issue type or what does it contain. So you can always name it with a description or keep it quite specific to that issue type which is it is going to be used for. Click on add button here and now we can see our customer request screen being listed but before that they're asking you what fields do you want to showcase so just start typing whatever you want to include and pick up pick it up from the autocomplete options click on add and say for example i want description as well add and then i want the reporter add assignee add and uh, probably the due date 
but that's it just let's just keep it simple so that you can feel the difference okay i'm not adding anything more there's another option to add a new tab so of course when you create a new issue you will have two tabs to switch between to add more information all right so we are done with creating our new screen and configuring that let's come back to the screen schemes which is obviously known that this is the scheme which will be used for associating the configurations of a screen to the project now we are going to create a new add screen scheme instead of editing an existing one so that i can use it for any other project as well so click on add screen scheme now i'm just naming it again that what it is like customer screen scheme so just keeping it same user friendly so that i remember that this scheme is for specifically on the customer screen Give it a description if you want and select the screen which you want the scheme to use. Of course, that is going to be customer request screen. Remember team, scheme is something which is an interface of configuration files in order to associate the work which you are doing as customization and showcase that into a project. It's an intermediate. So without the scheme, you cannot show what you are creating in a particular project. Click on add. Now we see that our new scheme which we just created is listed here and that's here. Now that's on the top, you get associate and issue operation with this screen. Okay, as soon as you create the new screen, you will have a button here, associate and issue operation with a screen. Click on that and you will have three options. There are the three different issues, three different screen types, whether it is associated for the create issue, edit issue, view issue. If you don't want any one of them, just cancel this. Okay. Why? Because by right now, in default mode, it says that it is used for all unmapped operation. That means this screen will be used for all three operation, that is create, edit, and view. If you want anything specific to be used for any of the operation, then you map it. Then you map it. You just associate that operation with the new screen. What if they want different screens for three different operations? Then you associate three different schemes to the three different operations. Okay, so that's all. All you're done here is not, and now this screen will be used for all three operations, be it create, edit, or view. Finally, the third option to associate the scheme to the issue type, because I don't want this screen to be visible to all the issue types. So click on issue type screen schemes, and here you have an option called as add issue type screen scheme. So right now my project is using 10 scrum issue type screen scheme. To do to check that every time you can just go to the project settings and in the project settings you will find that what your issue type is using the scheme as. So you can get to know the name from here and then go back to your Jira administrator and just pick up that one and click on edit. Oops, not the edit, the configuration button. Click on configure and then add an issue type with the screen scheme. That's it. So now you see that for all other issue types, it is using a default screen scheme, but specific to the bug type, it is using a different screen scheme. Similarly, for the customer request, we are going to add one. So the issue type is customer request and the screen scheme is customer screen scheme. Click on add. That's it, you're done. Now go back to your project and just move to or do a refresher and click on the create button here. Now, if I'm in customer request, I do see only five options. Summary, description, reporter, signee and due date. There's no scroll bar on the right, so I'm not hiding anything from you. If I just switch to another option like task, I see a scroll bar here. That means there are many other options which are associated with this issue type. Let's click on bug. I see a scroll bar here and there are different options here as well, right? So this is how you can associate a new screen to any of the issue type by using these three options in the Jira administrator. And these are the options. First, you create a new screen, create a new screen scheme, and then associate that screen scheme to the issue type. In fact, I didn't get this for the first time when I did myself, but of course, doing it several times, I got the confidence that what I am exactly I'm trying to do. Make sure that you repeat this several times to get a proper understanding of this option.
otherwise it will be just a piece of uh, you know something which you cannot be understanding or cannot be applying back in your organization so make sure that you practice it several times before you exactly apply that in your organization at any point of time if you want to add a new screen for different operation come back to the screen schemes and then configure the screen scheme which you created and upload the new option uh, whichever is going to be applied for like creating or or viewing it or you know editing it all right so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning